this weekend I was at the American Academy of Religion in Montreal and um, while I was there I met lots of good folks uh, but something that stuck out there was my conversations with Philip Clayton who is a professor at uh, Claremont and Trip Fuller of homebrewed Christianity um, and those two gentlemen uh, and they are in fact gentlemen talked to me um, about the Transforming Theology Project. And I had been involved. I had done some writing and some reading and some video um, creation for the Transforming Theology Project back in the spring. And both of those folks said, get the stuff out there. So I've been focusing a lot on my writing and I don't blog because I don't have the patience to write small pieces routinely. Um, so I've been thinking about journal publications and writing chapters for books, etc., etc. And I'll probably keep doing that. But both Philip and Tripp said, you know, get the stuff out on the web. That's how you get connected to folks. So um, something about the weekend and maybe what was in the water and or the Montreal air really got into me. And so I have decided that I will go into this endeavor where I will be trying to kind of keep a... a uh, finger on the pulse of what's going on in the blogs, what's happening with the Transforming Theology Project, what's new and contemporary in theology in the emerging church, um, what are people doing and what are people thinking about, try to kind of get networked and, and tap into that conversation, that rich and multi-voiced thing. So uh, the image of fish is going to be uh, my video um, platform for connecting all of these things together and I'm going to try to do one or two a week keep your fingers crossed um, that's about that if there's anything that you'd like to know about what exactly the image of fish is where I came up with it um, the background the logo there's stuff up on the top of the web page the image of explains exactly how all that stuff worked out so please feel free to take a look at that Comments are awesome. Links are awesome. Uh, tweets to the website are phenomenal. And if I can get onto your blog roll, that would rock my socks off. So thanks, wonderfulness, and I'll see you when I do. So I am a big fan of simplicity. I like to call myself a pragmatic idealist. So while I like to kind of keep my head in the clouds sometimes, I also very much feel like it's got to have the rubber hitting the road at some point in time. Uh, I'm a big fan of the poetic, and I think that there's a lot of uh, generative, creative energy that happens in that uh, kind of between space where art and creativity happens. But I also know that someone's got to do the shopping and clean the floor and wash the dishes. So um, this is the section of the image of fish where uh, the question, so what, is going to be answered. Um, every time I do a video, I'm going to close it with a so what. And my intention is that the so what section of every video um, will be understandable by my mom. Now, my mom probably won't watch this. She doesn't really care about any of these things, and she's not a churchgoer in any sense of the word. Um, so I can't imagine my mom will ever watch this. But in my head, I'm thinking, would my mom understand this? And that's the filter I'm using. So, the so what of this video is, if you are a pastor who's trying to figure out how to get theological imagination back into your congregation and your own practice and engage new and emerging ideas, this image of fish will be for you. If you are a theologian and or a theologian in training, a graduate student, a doctoral student, and you're doing work up in that ivory tower, but you're feeling like you're less connected from folks than you'd want to be, this is for you. I am going to try to engage some serious stuff, some, some big thinkies, and also get those things legs, give them feet, figure out methodologies and, and practices and maybe workshops and things that you could do with the congregation, um, maybe with other pastors in communication. So, if you are either one of those folks and or a lay person who's interested in bringing some ideas to the congregation, to your brothers and sisters, and maybe even to your pastor, well, the so what is this blog is going to be for you.